The storm brewing right there is pretty big. Bam, I'm on! Yeehaw, fishing in the rain. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna get some honey. What is that? Wow. There's a bee on my shoe. There's a bee on my shoe. It's on my hand. Damn, look at all that honey. <laughs> Oh, my lens is fogging up. It's so humid out here and... Come on. Spends half the day cleaning a lens. I'm trying to get to a fishing video here, come on. Does that work? So right now there's almost no wind. And then randomly, a little thunderstorm will come through. It'll be blowing like 25 miles an hour. Choppy waves everywhere. Rain flying, thunderstorm, and it's crazy. And then 20 minutes later, it's like this again. Peaceful. I see some thunderstorm clouds that way. There's some way out there, some over there. Pretty much that way is offshore. That's where I wanna go fishing. I think today, Caitlin and I, we're just gonna put on our Grundens, put on our rain jackets, and we're gonna head out. Hopefully we can avoid all the rainstorms and thunderstorms, you never know. It makes it more exciting, right? And check out my bees. My hive is, whoa, whoa. I just had a bee nail me like four times. I was worried he was gonna send them into attack mode. I'm still pretty new to owning bees, but I'm getting better. After I go fishing today, this evening or tomorrow morning, we're gonna put that nuke box into an actual hive. I'll do that on this video too, so you all can see how that works. I'm about to have a lot of honey. Okay, here's the hive. So the top part of the box, this is where we're gonna be able to harvest the honey from. And the box that's outside right now is going to go inside this box right here. That's where the queen lives, that's where they put store pollen, that's where they put eggs, all that good stuff. This is where the hive lives and then they put their extra honey up here on top and that's where I can harvest. I'm gonna go throw on my fishing clothes, put some fuel in the boat, get my rods down, ice her down, get the boat ready, and then we're gonna head offshore. Look at that, <laughs> a little Fontana. Look at that cloud behind you. We're about to head on out here. We got the boat, we got the rods on the boat. We're just gonna troll feathers today. It should be a pretty simple day. That's, that's all there's to it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna head out now. <laughs> into the storm. All right, babe, undo the front. I'll undo the back. <laughs> Good job. And we're off. We are heading offshore off of Key Largo, which is the first island in the Florida Keys. There's a reef that basically runs along the entire Florida Keys. You can see it's the lighter colored area of the water here. And it's only a couple miles to get to the edge of the reef where it goes from about 15 to 20 feet all the way down to 130 feet and deeper the further offshore you go. But we're going to be trolling right in this area between 130 feet and 200 feet. You can catch tuna and mahi in this depth all along the coast off the Florida Keys and that's what we're going to be doing today. Well we made it out here to the reef's edge. Right behind us you can see Molasses Reef Tower. It's about 40 feet there. We're in 130 feet so we're right off the reef's drop off. And we're gonna troll now between 130 feet to 200 feet. Kind of just zigzag around. The storm brewing right there is pretty big, but nothing we ain't never been in before. <laughs> you know I love to troll the black and purple weedless squid rig, but I've probably caught 100 fish on this one and it looks pretty beat up. I happen to only bring, I brought a brand new pack of the silver glitter weedless squid rigs. So we're just gonna troll silver glitter today, which I know that's a shot in the dark, they do look good, don't they? Mm -hmm. Woo! So 
so we'll see if we can get a, a mahi on these. Usually, if we're targeting tuna, the black and purple is my two go-to, but let's see if we can hook a mahi today. We'll put out two of these. I do have the black and purple XL, which will be on the bigger rod. That's a prototype, and we'll get our lines out and we'll start trolling. This is the bonita that Dan reeled in that was bit in half. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Got one my own. Yeah, on the silver glitter, babe. Bye bye. Keep little. Oh. <laughs> oh, bah! oh, the camera got a good slapperoo there. Oh my gosh. Yay. We're out here in 130 feet. We found some weeds and there's just birds everywhere. <laughs> so, a good rule of thumb is when the birds are diving on the water, there's usually tuna or mahi or something under them. So, we're going to troll right by them. Let's see what we can get on. Fish on! That's a big one. Okay, we're an idol. I wanna see. That's a good one. Yep, keep reeling. Hold on. Hey, you're just gonna have to finesse him. Ready? You should start getting line back on him. That's a big one you got on there. Or something, I don't know. It was taking line like crazy. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> Bring in the beast. I'm gonna get the calf ready just in case. What the heck is that? Big tuna? Big boy, Bonita. Oh my. Yeah, look at that. That's freaking great bait. Oh yeah. That's a stud. Got the hook out. He's going straight into the cooler. Oh, big fish jumping. Oh, turtle too. We had tuna jumping out of the water right in front of us here. One of us has a fish on it because I feel something flipping. I feel my line's tugging too. Yeah, either we both have a fish or we have one fish on both rods. Let's see here. Let's bring them on. Point. Wait. Well, do we not have a fish? It, why did it feel like Did we it? both just reel in a punk of seaweed together? Look inside. Maybe there's something inside of there. Right? We caught each other. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big one! <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's a heavy boy. Alright, put it put it in straight up idle. There we go. I'm thinking this is a Bonita. <laughs> just by the way he hit and hasn't jumped. Just a big old Bonita. Which is cool. I like them big old Bonitas. Heck yeah. Swordfish baits, chunk baits. Best bait in the world. Whew. Might need to get the fighting belt for the next one. You want to gaff him? Whoa, what is that? Is that a huge blue runner? 
Wow! It's a freaking massive blue runner! Holy smokes! That's pretty cool. AKA chunk bait. Or if we don't catch anything else, we might end up eating him. So that's your motivation for us to catch something. <laughs> wow! Big boy. Look at that blue runner. Pretty cool. Oh my, oh we're about to get spooled. Knocking forward, baby. Oh yeah. All right, now back at him. <laughs> Try to go down on me. You want to gaff him? <laughs> no. Uh. Okay. Heck yeah. Another Bonita. These guys are just grabbing our lines and running. We got the rain. It's falling down all around us. Hey, it's cleaning all the tuna blood off the boat. That's good. Yeehaw, fishing in the rain, baby. Feels good. Makes me want to drink a beer. There you go. Ho oh, ho! Another fish on! Is it a mahi this time? Oh, it came off. Oh, look at him all, babe! Tuna, baby, tuna! Let's see if we get a black fin out of here. Oh, all the birds are right behind the boat. Come on! Come on! Hit it! Bam, I'm on! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was sweet. I, I knew he was going to nail it too. Uh-oh, we're dragging right through all the weeds. That's a lot of weeds. Yeah, it might have... Holy smokes! Here we go. What do you think it is? I'm going to say Blackfoot. You know, I want to be hopeful and, and just, you know, be hopeful and hope. He's looking awfully blue. Yeah, it looks like a bonita. You know what, I'm gonna just flip them in just because. All right. <laughs> These are freaking monsters. Little tunnies. Big boys. I think it's one of those things where we just gotta keep trolling and we'll eventually hit one. Fish on! Ah, oh, jeez, another fatty. Oh, he's way out there, too. That's got a head shake on there. Woo! Man. Is that a black fin? Oh, looks like a black fin! No! Don't do this to me at the boat, you dirty bastard! Nice, Hanko! Yeah! Yay! Black fin! <laughs> They're loving the silver glitters today. The American knife, please. I'm gonna dispatch him. <laughs> Buddy? Oh, those are perfect. Thanks for that tuna meat, brother. what I do with the knife? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him perfectly. I figured out right where to poke him for the heart, and then like every time his heart pumps, it's like. Bloody knife. <laughs> Murder. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh. Wow, got him on the big one too. Holy smokes. They're just everywhere. Woo! You got one too? Yeah. <laughs> fat black fin? Like, why is this? It could be a fat black fin. It could be, baby. It could be. Oh, yeah. He's close. Let's see. What you got here, babe? What you got? It's a big old bonita. There we go. All right, cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool, babe. Yeah, girl. 
Oh, there's tuna everywhere. We're about to get a rod just smashed, I know it. Fish on, but I hope he doesn't swim into the wreck. <laughs> <laughs> He's ripping drag. Drag ripper. Oh, I'm on. I just got hooked too. Oh, <laughs> holy smokes, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Here, that switch. Quick, quick. <laughs> Grab this one. Grab that one. <laughs> okay, oh. yours came off. He was in the wreck. He grabbed it and went right into the wreck. Yeah, yeah if I wasn't managing that rod, I would have brought the boat back. Back around to it. What is that? Is that a kingfish? Or mackerel? Barracuda. Barracuda. Oh, this one got cut off. You know what? This could have been a big barracuda also. One silver glitter squid rig down for the count. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Barracuda steak, anyone? You wanna hand me that uh, those pliers and I will. Big mean barracuda. Look at those teeth. Okay. Please don't bite me. I'm trying to let you go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and the hook is still good. Whew! Sailfish jumping. Holy sh! Look at him go! Look at him go right oh. It's kind of hard to see, but this sailfish was big and he was just jumping like crazy out there. Really cool thing to see offshore. Yeehaw, look at him go. There's some big old clouds back there. We managed to survive without getting too uh, wrecked. Or maybe I spoke too soon. As we're running in, I noticed the storm following us and it's moving at about 20 knots. Holy smokes, this thing might actually catch up with us and it's full of lightning, full of rain, and it's gonna stir up some big waves. Luckily, we get back to the dock in time, but with literally not another second to spare, I see the water coming right at us. Oh shit. You good? Oh shit! <laughs> Holy sh Literally just made it. Holy smokes. That's one way to watch the boat. Damn. Holy crap. That's gonna be a loud one. Damn. Oh. God. Damn. It's freaking storming outside real bad. We just barely made it like down to probably like within seconds we made it inside. Damn, look at look who we're in. That's insane. I'm gonna run upstairs. Hopefully I don't get hit by lightning. Thank God, I literally... Oh, that's gonna be a loud one. Oh yeah, the really, really loud one. That was insane. Like if we would have been even 30 seconds later, we would have got fucked. I wish I would have drove faster. I knew it was coming and it was close, but I didn't know it was that close. Damn. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. 
All right, enough lightning. It's the next day, it's sunny again, and it's time to move my bees into their new hive. When you buy a hive, it comes with the bottom as a solid piece of wood, but in Florida, it gets a little hotter than some other places. So we drill a bunch of little holes into the bottom of the beehive to help improve air circulation so the bees won't overheat in there. That's some serious holage. Okay. Yeah. Just lightly get that off. Oh my. I guess there's in there, I don't know. Nah, it'll never get wet. Alright, now they get a little bit of oxygen. Oh, if you know anyone that's got a sea grape tree like this, mm -hmm. I want to collect some sea grapes to make moonshine with. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I've never heard of anyone ever making sea grape moonshine, so figured. What should we do? Collect some of this? brown leaves and stuff. It doesn't really matter. Shove this one in there for a good fun. <laughs> yeah, they look really good. Cool. They were bearding more than that the other day. Like, pretty oh. seriously bearded. You know what I did? There's probably already some bees smelling and they're like, fire! Run. Ooh, so many. So we'll be able to see here what they've done so far. As far as I'm pretty excited to see go. this. There's a carpenter ant right down there. See him on the rocks? I hate carpenter ants. Have they been better at night? Or? There was that one attack where there was, they were everywhere and I, since I've been laying poison, there's three or four that I see walking around. Oh look, they all retreated inside. All the bees are gone. Cool. Wow. Oh, it's like a real comb. Wow, they've already built big time. I'm glad we're doing this. Ooh. Things are already full. So those boards might be a little stuck together. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, they are going to be stuck together. The only thing about that that scares me is if the queen happens to be somewhere where those crush together. Yeah. Otherwise, pretty, pretty straightforward move. See these ones circling up top? Those are the guard bees. That one just went up my pants for a second, <laughs> but I don't feel them. Like if one comes at your face, just don't squat and it'll be fine. That's what they do. They like to come up right up in your face. They want to look their victim in the eye before they murder him. Wow, that's all pollen? Mm -hmm. All this? That's what the, look, the carpenter ants are eating it. The, um, they must have got knocked off their wings when they're, or no, out of their Should I sack. move it? Yeah, we can take it off. That's some good looking good. pollen. Oh shit, I just did exactly what you're not supposed to do. Perfect. I wonder if we could shove something under there. Oh yeah! <laughs> they're everywhere. Those are the ones that are just flying back and they're like, wow, my house isn't where it should be. I'm still not used to being surrounded in bees like this. Oh, they're flying into me. <laughs> One just bumped into the side of my head. Wow. It's not great. They're really stuck. Really stuck in there? Mm-hmm. That's not even one of the bad looking ones. Really. Well, I, I went for the end first. That way we can shift everything out before. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow, they did all that and just like... So, that's all your capped brood there. Uh -huh. Those are little bees that are gonna hatch. 
That's already a queen cell. That's not good. We'll break that off. That means that they're looking to swarm already. Another queen cell. Another queen cell. Is there a queen inside the queen cell? That one did have one. Uh -huh. They're just building the comb very strange. Okay. Usually they'd fill up this whole th yeah. thing and not come off like this. Hmm. So I also like to put them back in the Ooh. same order. Okay. Back in the same order makes sense. <laughs> Look, that one just came home with pollen. He's so confused. He doesn't know what to do. Have you seen the queen? Oh, see, that looks right. That's how it's supposed to look? It's supposed to be fully filled out, but yes, that looks right. And see, that's all cap brood. So that's a lot of baby bees. That's a lot of baby bees. Stick your finger in that honey and taste it. In this honey? Yeah. Uh, not the cap part, the open part up top. Yeah, right there, my finger. Mmm. Mmm. Oh God, I think they know I ate their honey. They're looking at me. One bee just buzzed right in front of my eyes and just hovered there. I think he was like, you bastard. Wow, wow that was some good honey. Really oh. light, huh? Fruity? Mmm. The honey's dripping everywhere. Well, I gotta get a shot of that. Yeah, that honey is just dripping. It's just really strange the way they built this. If you want to, they don't need all this. This is all honey. Really? You want that? I would take it. Blank? Just put in a blank and mm -hmm. take that one? Okay, should I get a blank or where yeah, should we we'll put- grab one more blank. I'll just set this one. Oh, <laughs> stealing honey already. Wow, what is that? That's some brood that unfortunately fell off. We just gotta make sure the queen's not on there, and we'll toss it. That's where the eggs are in? Yeah, these were... And once they break off, you can't like, stick it back? You could, but you don't want them You're, it's building, just cluttering. building it more erratically than they already are. So you haven't seen the queen? Mm -mm. But I, I wouldn't say that you usually do when you open it, unless you're really, really looking. Honey super is the uh, smaller box. There's a bee on my shoe. How do I get it to stop? When he gets on your hair and just uh, stomp on the ground, you won't see me. Friend. Oh, I survived. Can I like blow them off from here? Uh, Flick them? Flick them, like. Yeah. Yeah. If you blow them, Whew. they don't like the CO2. Mm. Wow, that bee came awfully close to me. <laughs> Like the queen wouldn't be like hiding in a crevice in there, would she? Nah, because this is all honey, which is weird. But it shouldn't have this much honey. Wow, look at all this. Bullant heads. What? Bullant heads? So they must have like clamped down on this and the bees were trying to pull them out. You can see these heads are bullant heads that were ripped off their bodies by the bees and the bullant was clamped onto this mesh netting. So they can kill bull ants. 
kind of. There's still some bees in there. Maybe I'll start with one of these. Yeah. Get out of there, bud. Wow. I feel like this is the really expensive honey that you can buy that's already like in the comb form. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, that honey just like squirted out of there. Um, he just watched all the honey just disappear from above his head. Okay, one little bee there. Are they on that side of that thing? Oh, yep. Oh God. There's a couple crushed ones. There's a couple in there. The honey is so good. <laughs> <laughs> this way is out there. This is actually kind of crazy. That bee on the paper towel right down there, that's a little bigger than the rest. That's the queen. If she gets hurt or dies, it could ruin the whole hive. Come on, bee, get out of there. One second. We got two more bees. This guy doesn't know when to quit. Get out of there. Hey, is this the, is this a queen right here? That's a really big bee. It is. That's the queen? Holy. Oh my gosh. Where was that? She was stuck in the honey. Oh my god, hold that. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus. Oh my god. She went right back in. Really? Thank god. Holy. I was, I was like, huh, that looks bigger than a normal bee. She wasn't injured. Okay, good. There. Yeah, scared. You think she'll be okay? Yeah. She wasn't crushed and she didn't have honey on her. She went right in. That makes no sense. No sense at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of honey. No bee, don't, don't be now. Oh my God. You know, bees are pretty clumsy little animals. They're pretty which makes them kind of adorable. No wonder bears want to get in here. If I was a bear, this would be like... Perfect. Is there a certain temperature honey is best stored at? Nope. That's a lot of honey. That's a lot. That's a lot of honey. <laughs> oh. That's the best, the best kind too. That yeah. Color, that color is my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I didn't think I was going to get honey this fast. Been much over a month. Yeah. It's even been I feel like just the other day we put that hive in there. All right, the bees are in their new home. We haven't put on the the super yet. This is the top part of the hive. These are a little smaller. Once they establish the home in the new box, this box is going to go on top. That's the excluder sheet. So the excluder will go on top of the box already out there, and this will go on top of that. That way the queen can't go from the main hive into the super box, this one on top. Since the bee can't get up here, no eggs or pollen will be brought up here, only honey. So in the future when we want to get honey, you just open up the top and you can pull all these out to get the honey out. I wasn't expecting to get a, some honey harvested today, but the bees have just been working so hard that there is way more honey in there than we thought. So we figured we might as well take one sheet of honey. All the bees are doing pretty good. Check them out. Still have a problem with some bull ants. Car Florida carpenter ants trying to attack the bees. Sometimes they kill a bee and drag them off. That's a little sad. I hate seeing my bee friends get killed. And I'm trying to do everything. I'm putting poison down. I'm killing them manually, stepping on them all day for weeks. I kill as many as I can, but those things are ruthless. If you know a good way to kill a Florida carpenter ants in a way that won't harm the bees, leave a comment because we need to win this war. I was thinking for the catch and cook, I should use the honey, honey glazed tuna recipe or something. We'll 
We'll try some fresh honey on some fresh tuna. Woo, life is good. Look at all that honey in there. That is a lot of honey. We weren't even expecting to harvest any today. Mouse, off the counter, off the counter. Go. Tough teaching these little guys. But I got the tuna here. He's already uh, filleted. After that storm hit, I ran out there later in the night. I was so tired. I filleted him up. I didn't film it. I must have 60 plus videos of me filleting tuna. So if you really want to see me fillet a tuna, just watch a couple more videos after this one. I always like to wrap my tuna in paper towel that keeps them dry and I feel like it just makes the tuna taste better and store better in the fridge. It's not a ton of tuna, but it's gonna be enough to make dinner. We are gonna make honey, lime honey glazed tuna steaks and we're gonna throw them on the grill. Now these four pieces of tuna, after I cut the bloodline off of them, I wouldn't really call them steaks. So I'm gonna make sure I cook them extremely fast on the grill. But first we're gonna marinate them. So we'll just take a bag. We'll put our pieces of tuna, which look fantastic by the way, just absolutely delicious. Blackfin tuna. Obviously the first thing we're gonna put in is our honey. This is extremely clear honey and Alec told me that it's like early summer honey. It's not mixed with any spring, later fall type stuff. So it's like palm, palm trees and mangroves, which produce a very light and sweet honey. And apparently this is one of the most delicious honeys. It's supposed to be top of the line here, boys. I'll try not to get any wax in. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That honey, though. Hey. Off. Off the counter, bud. Here. You can stay over here. Don't come up there, okay? Here's your fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Honey glazed tuna. I don't know why, but that just sounds super good to me. I'm gonna add a lime in there. Not much, just squeeze a little wedge in there. Soy sauce. Black pepper. And then white and black sesame seeds. Ooh, it smells heavenly. We're just gonna mix that up and we're gonna let it marinate for like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna heat up the grill. I'm also gonna make some asparagus. I think some like salty asparagus will be like a nice healthy touch to a sweet tuna steak. You know what I just thought? Some red, white, and blue outdoors sweet heat would be really good with this but I don't want to try too many new things at once because I've never made this, but I definitely want to make some kind of sweet heat, honey glazed fish recipe. I think that could just be, woo -wee! These are good times, kitties. Penelope, mouse, these are good times. These are good times, good time rubs. Things are good. Holy crap, there's water coming out of my outlet. I hope that's okay. All right. I'm gonna heat the trigger to 450, the highest that it can freaking go. Put some oil on here and some salt and pepper. So, once it's nice and hot, we'll throw the tuna steaks on. Damn, that thing is smoking hard. Look at that. <laughs> That's a freaking smoker, I tell you what. Smells really good. I'm using an alder wood, so it's like a very light wood. Uh, good for fish, good for chicken. The grill is nice and toasty. Time to throw on our tuna. Now, I don't think this tuna is gonna need very long at all to cook. Maybe like a minute on each side. Yeah, it was about a minute and a half. I'm gonna flip them. I don't like my tuna too cooked. I 
will say this. The smells are better than anything I have ever smelled before. Really beautiful grill lines on there. Get those grill lines. Yeah. Let's go on in and try it. The grill lines on this thing are on point. It looks like something out of a like a magazine or something. That's really good looking. My camera lady isn't here today. I'm gonna selfie this. I think this is the first time that we've ever had grilled tuna on the South Florida Fishing Channel with honey that we caught ourselves. Well, let's just <laughs> dig right into it. There you go. I've never been one to grill tuna. I always thought that grilling tuna would dry it out and it just never seemed like a good idea, but damn! I wish Caitlin was here right now. Mmm. This is one of the recipes that I gotta remember. I gotta remember this video. Oh, the asparagus is good. Y'all probably wanna know about the honey taste. Do I taste the honey? It almost has like a teriyaki flavor. But I didn't use any teriyaki, but I think the honey makes the soy sauce a little sweeter. It's really good, it's, wow. We caught six bonita. So I got deep drop baits and swordfish baits for a long time in this one black fin. So we got dinner, so we got dinner, baits. It was a good freaking day, yeehaw. Well, that tuna was freaking awesome. Thanks for watching this video to the end. I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't shaved in a while. Maybe some of y'all remember, but I said when I get my boat back, I wasn't gonna shave until I catch a swordfish on my boat. So I gotta put a swordfish on my boat before I can shave again. Might be a while before we get a swordfish. Or maybe not. Dun dun dun! But thanks everyone for tuning in. Remember, if you wanna support the channel, and it wouldn't be possible without my online sales right now to be running offshore all the time. The silver glitter, weedless squid rigs, that's what we were trolling today. And boy did those Bonita like them. I always swore by the black and grape. We have a few colors. We have the Barbie pink, Bait fish glow, green candy, black and purple, silver glitter, and the bloody glow. I swear, the black and purple is hands down my favorite for catching tuna. But I was thinking, you know what a fun video would be if I trolled all the colors for a day or two and just see which of these colors gets the most hits. That'd be a pretty cool video, I think. I got another video I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Until next time, cheers. cheers.